Hi everybody. Welcome. I'll just wait till everybody can join in. I'm here a couple minutes early so everybody can pop on. This is our noon yoga flow class with me, Meg, today. Um, so we have about three minutes. I'm going to go grab my essential oils and um, maybe some water. And you guys can do the same too. Or if you have any other crystals or support blocks, props, anything around, feel free to grab that. And I will pop back in a couple minutes and we will get started. And I hope everybody's doing well. Let's see who's already on. Great. Mm -hmm. It's hard to see the comments here, so. All right, welcome. We'll start in a little bit. about one more minute so again if you have any blocks or props go ahead and grab them <laughs> I wish I could see some comments too. If you want to say hi, go ahead and throw out a little hi. Hello, hello. Can I see who's on? Let's see. Hmm. All right. About another minute and we'll get started. So today let's actually start laying on your back. 
And if you would like, you can take a bit of a heart opening. Grab my block here. Okay, Jamie. You can do some heart opening um, support. So your glutes are rooted down. If you have two blocks or a little pillow or bolster, go ahead and make sure your hips are rooted. Your block can support just behind your chest and then just behind your head. So um, your arms can open up and you're creating this lightness across your chest and opening across your, your heart space. Legs can either be bent, knees splayed out, feet can touch, or legs can extend forward like you would for Shavasana. And so wherever you are, just start to drop, drop into your breath. Take a couple cleansing breaths to really feel your breath become more aware and apparent. And then as you decide to recognize these breaths, now feel out a little bit of breath awareness. Begin to tap into your ujjayi breath. As you inhale through your nose and then exhale through your nose. So you can start to build a gentle whisper in the back of your throat. And so these ujjayi breaths really become apparent. They become the music, the flow, the rhythm of your practice today. As you notice, these breaths really honor your breath body. And then choose an intention that can closely connect to your heart. So as we move into an opening and awareness of your heart space, you can visualize the color green swirling all around your heart, heart chakra. It connects you to a deeper understanding of self-love and connection, compassion. And then you might choose an intention that also supports either yourself or uh, someone else or a larger collective of energy, especially the people that need it most right now. Take two more deep breaths. And then slowly you can manually gather your knees in or just draw your feet to touch your, your feet rooted to the floor. Glutes stay rooted down. Feet are now at max with distance just underneath your knees. Drape your knees now over to the right side. Your knees will flop over to the right so you're creating a gentle twist and a rinsing in your mid spine. And then slowly knees drape over to your left, gazing to the right. And come back to center. We'll go ahead and roll off of your bolster or just come to your side if you weren't on anything. Come into a fetal position. And we'll slowly rise up to a tabletop. So you can move your blocks to frame your mat, either the middle or the back of your mat. Shoulders stack over wrists. Now we'll take some cat cows, dipping your belly, lengthening your chest, bottom of your collarbones, and then dome and round. Curl your chin in. And a couple more breaths. Really awakening your spine, your heart. A nice neutral spine, curl your toes and drop the big circles with your hips way over to one side and way over to the other. And then find your center, walk your knees back a couple inches, hips lift. Press back to downward facing dog. So you can deeply bend into your knees or pedal your feet. Spread the toes nice and wide from the navel. Pull up and toward your spine. Feel the biceps roll away from your ears. There's connection in your fingers, your toes. And there's a gentle lift through your hips, your pelvis. Take two more deep breaths. 
And then when you engage forward, walk your feet up behind your wrists, come into ragdoll pose. So knees can bend quite a bit. Knees can soften. Torso drapes toward your thighs as you gently sway your torso from side to side. Relax your neck and your head. And then find your center, place your left palm underneath your face, or maybe even on a block. Bend into your left knee, charge, reach right arm up towards the sky. So if there's a straight line from your knife edge of your pinky toe up through the right IT band, the hips, rotate your top wrist one direction, the other, and then place your palm to either your low back or your left hip crease. Grounding into your left, lengthening through your chest, your heart. Opening across the bicep, the chest, the heart, release. Micro bend to the right and extend, reach left arm up. Bend to the right, charge to the left pinky toe edge, navel pulls in, top palm to the top hip, or that half bind to the inner right hip crease. Re extend the arm and release it down. Palms to hips, knees can bend, lead with your heart and rise. Come all the way up to center to standing. Inhale, stretch, reach your arms up and overhead, and connect your palms to heart center. Inhale, arms up and over to Tadasana. Full forward bow, Uttanasana, come all the way down. Halfway lift, heart forward, your palms to shins. You can micro bend on the knees, just feel those straight tabletop spine. Now we'll step your right leg way back to the lunge. Spin your torso toward the front, towards the right side. Parallel your feet. Find a gentle prasarita as you plug the fingers down, lengthen your heart, and then fold forward. Again, half lift in your heart. Now place your right fingertips underneath your face or the block left arm up. Again, take your half bind, top palm to the rack or the inner hip crease. Re-extend and release. Left palm down, right arm up. And then again, same thing, top palm to top hip or inner hip crease. Re-extend and release. Palms to hips. Knees can bend, lead with your heart, inhale, rise, come all the way up, stretch, reach your arms up and overhead, and then palms come to heart. Go and hop your feet to touch, or hips width distance, actually, hips width distance. In, interlace your fingers up and overhead. Take a steeple mudra, micro bending your knees so that your legs aren't locked, so it looks like a super long curve, S curve in your spine. Your hips spread back, so you're not tucked, rounded, you're softening your knees and the hips spread back. And we'll just tick-tock from side to side. Just elongating along your side body, the intercostals, your lats, upper and lower. Draw little circles on the ceiling, just connecting to your core and your spine, opening through your heart. Find your center. Now reach up and over to your right. Tuck through the bottom right shoulder, open through your throat, biceps frame your face, squeeze the heels of your palms. Ground, come back up to center, reach up and over to your left. Bottom shoulder tucks under, biceps frame your face again. Breathe. And come back to center. This time, interlace your fingers back behind you, bend into your knees and allow your heels to lift. So this time you look again like a super S curve. There's a little light, light weight in the back of your palms or your hands. This time the heels lift, you're finding that nice buoyancy, reach over to the right. So again, you're creating this side bend with a gentle heart opener and a gentle twist even. Come back to center, reach up and over to your left. Throat can open up, side body opens up. Lots of glute work versus just your thighs. Come back to center. Ground your heels, stand tall, breathe in, and exhale, palms down. Go ahead and turn to the top of your mat, right toes top of your mat. <clears throat> Ground your feet, reach arms up and over to Dasana, and bend your elbows, open your heart and your mouth. <sighs> Squeeze your shoulder blades in, inhale, arms up. Exhale, full forward, bow, Uttanasana. And halfway lift. And step your left leg way back, left leg back. Round your palms, this time step your right foot to meet your left. Shoulders stack over wrists. 
shift an inch forward, lower to your knees, we'll all break down chaturanga, shift another inch forward, chaturanga, so your elbows graze past your ribs, come all the way down. Ground the toes, gentle cobra, back of the neck nice and long, elbows point back. Exhale, release your chin, curl the toes, push up to plank or tabletop through plank, and then exhale, press back, lift up, downward facing dog. Couple breaths. Deep breath in, deep breath out. And this time, inhale, reach right leg up to the sky, bend your knee, open up to your hip. Now draw big circles in and out, opening through the hip joint. Resquare your hips, pinky toe points down, step it all the way through to lunge. Left fingertips come down or underneath your block or shoulder, reach right arm up towards the sky. Opening across your chest. Stretch, reach your top arm forward, and then release it down. You can use your blocks or rise high to the fingertips. Pyramid variation. You can make your bend in the knees or flex through the front foot. Find your low lunge. Ground your palms. Sweep, reach. Right leg up and back. Three leg down dog. Bend the knee. Open your hip. We extend and down dog. As you inhale, shift forward to plank. Now full chaturanga, if you know you need to modify, feel free to do so. Shift that inch forward. Now lower halfway so the elbows bend into your ribs. At about 90 degrees, inhale to upward facing dog. So enough dog, the shoulders stack, the thighs are lifted, heels gather toward one another, one another, back of the neck long, and exhale, press it back, downward facing dog. Deep breath in. And deep breath out. One more breath in, let it go. Inhale, reach left leg up to the sky. Bend your knee, open up to your hip, draw your big circles in and out. And then square your hips, pinky toe, ground down, step it all the way through to lunge. Right fingertips, prong down lightly, left arm up, open twist. Soften the shoulder, but again, focus on the heart opening, right? Chest expansion, especially if it's feeling tight. Stretch, reach your arm forward, soften the shoulder down, and release. Again, pyramid variation. If you need to use a block, feel free to do so, and lift the hips high. You can make your bend in the knees or soften. And release back to the lunge. Ground your palms, use the crunch, reverse it, as you sweep your left leg up and back, three-legged down dog, bend the knee, open the hip again, and down dog. Shift forward to plank, and vinyasa chaturanga, lower halfway all the way. Inhale to up dog or cobra, and exhale to downward facing dog. Deep breath in, and open mouth. And one more deep breath. Let it go. And gaze forward, bend the knees, step, hop, or float lightly, top of your mat. In halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Feet back at the hips with distance. Chair pose with your palms to your knees or your thighs. So again, you're allowing the chest to open. We'll take cow pose in your spine, even your throat can open up. And then exhale, tuck in around, curl your chin toward your chest. Couple more, heart open, hips spread back. Exhale, to around. Last one. And on your neutral spine, interlace your fingers back behind you, spreading the hips back. Elevate your heels, again, that nice bounciness. Now reach over to your right. Bottom shoulder scoops under, throat can open up. Come back into center, reach over to your left. Come back into center, stretch, reach your arms up, ground your heels, stand tall, bend your elbows, open your heart and your mouth. Inhale, arms up, and then back to chair pose with Katasana. This time, open twist to the right, palms face the sky. Try to keep your hips your knees parallel to the front. And then scoop down, come back up. 
and reach up and over to your left. Same thing, opening across your chest and shoulder, allowing the right hip to align with your left. Scoop down, come back up. Now swing your arms back behind. Squeeze your shoulder blades in, tuck your chin so the back of your neck is long. Elevate your heels, down from your tiptoes, use your glutes. Stretch, reach your arms up, forward, frame your face. Navel pulls in. Knees stay bent, heels stay lift, slowly rise, come back up to center. Ground your heels, inhale, arms, heart opens. Now we'll sweep the arms back, feeling a little more energy than the knees. Sweep the arms, two more. Heart opens. And inhale, rise, bend your elbows, open your heart and your mouth. Inhale, arms up. And palms to heart. Inhale, arms up. And fold forward, bow forward, Uttanasana. Halfway lift. Plant your palms, step back to plank, shift forward, optional, chaturanga, of course, always an option. You can always skip it, up dog or cobra. And exhale to downward facing dog. Inhale, reach right leg up to the sky. Step through to lunge. Find your feet at hips width, rise up to high lunge or crescent lunge. So feet stay in that hip width. It supports you in that sense of foundation and groundedness. Lean your torso forward just a little bit. A little hair tickling my nose. <laughs> and then open twist to the right. Back palm toward your back left. Hamstring, left arm traces up towards the sky. Think of a string attached to your heart. Lift through your chest. Now as you exhale, hook left elbow to the outside of your right revolve crescent lunge. If you know it's best to go to your back knee, do so. It's all about a foundation and then this connection to your back body, connection to your glute muscles, supporting your twist. One more breath. And release, palms frame your front foot, pyramid variation, releasing your hamstring. Find your low lunge, and we'll turn towards the right side, lunging into the right, if that feels good. You can prong your fingertips, you can flex through your extended left leg, palms can come to heart, maybe rise a little bit taller. Palms come down, we'll travel it over to your left, lunging into your left, flexing through your right. Again, palms can come to heart, option. And then find your center. Toes point forward, half lift in your heart, and then hinge forward, hinge forward. Again, half lift in your heart, right palm underneath your face, option, left arm up. Take a half bind, or that full bind, or half bind rather, inner hip crease. Re-extend, and release, left palm down, right arm up. Option, take your half bind or top palm to low back or inner hip crease. Re-extend and release. Half lift in your heart, palms to hips. Feel your glute muscles engage. Micro bend in the knees, lead with your heart and rise, come all the way up. Stretch, reach your arms up and over. Spin your right toes forward, warrior two to the front. So really stack shoulders over hips. See this heel to back arch intersection, soften the shoulders down. Reach forward as you inhale, extend at side angle, elbow either to the thigh or the inside, top arm at this diagonal. So encourage your heart to open up towards the sky as you pin into your back and edge of your foot. Your shoulders, chest should be pretty open now so the top palm can wrap. If you're working on a half bind, full bind, bottom arm can open up. Arm variation, slowly release. Stay low in your lunge, reverse your warrior. Breathe through your right ribs. Option, take that half bind, top palm to the low back. Or in your hip crease, one more breath. And windmill arms to low lunge. Ground your palms, reverse the crunch as you sweep right leg up and back. Three-legged down dog, bend the knee, open the hip. We extend and Downward facing dog. Shift forward to plank. 
and vinyasa, optional. Up dog or cobra. And exhale to downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Legs engaged, deep breath out. One more, breathe in. Let it go. Inhale, reach left leg up to the sky. And step it through to lunge, feet at that hips width. Ground, rise up to your high lunge or crescent lunge. Should, so it should feel pretty good, especially even now on both feet. If it's too max on the right hip flexor, you might lean your torso forward a little bit more. Feel, feel your navel pull in toward your spine and then open twist to the left. Again, invite breath across your chest and your shoulders. Scoop down, come back up, breathe in. And exhale, palms through heart, revolve, crescent to your left. So the right elbow hooks to the outer left knee. If you can, create a straight line from either the back knee, if you're lower, through the crown of your head. Lifting torso up and off from your left thigh. This is great to massage your digestive tract, your colon. Or there's a straight line from the back heel up through the crown of your head. One more breath. And untwist, bringing your front foot. Pyramid variation again, so hips up to the sky. You might go bend the knee or knees. Find your lunge, meaning you'll pivot to the right side. Lunge into your left, flexing to the right. You might palm the fingertips, rise higher, palm to heart. Let it feel comfortable for your knee, and then we'll lunge over to your right. Heart can lift, widening the knees back, opening through your hips. And then we'll find your center. Half lift in your heart, micro bend in the knees, lead with your heart and rise, come all the way up. Stretch, reach your arms up and over, and then bounce the heart. This time arms come up, bend into your right elbow, like a tricep stretch. Left palm wraps around the, the elbow or the tricep, fingertips down. You can actually lean over to the left side, but try to invite your head, let it float back into your forearm. Pull your navel in. Come back to center, arms up, switch sides, right palm crosses over, left finger down, lean over to the right. Little pressure, head into forearm, keeping your shoulders in line with your hips, but honoring those natural curves through your spine. And come back to center, arms up, left toes point forward, warrior two to the left. So again, heels to arch, and then feel again, glute muscles connect, shoulders stack, over hips. Breathe. Then reach forward as you inhale to extended side angle elbow to the thigh, inside encouraging your twist, or bottom palm down. Top palm can wrap, inner hip crease. Bottom palm can come under, opening across your heart. Arm variation slowly release, legs stay the same, reverse warrior. Breathe through your left ribs. Again, you can take that half spine, top palm or back palm can wrap. One more breath. And windmill arms down to low lunge. Ground your palms, slowly sweep left leg up and back. Three legged down dog. Bend your knee, open it up. We extend. Exhale, downward dog. Optional, vinyasa. Or skip it. Up dog or cobra. Exhale, to downward dog. Shift forward to your plank. Lower to your knees. Tabletop. Cow pose, heart opens, hips spread back. Exhale, dome round. One more. Nice, and then find your neutral spine. Place your left palm underneath your face. We'll open up our shoulders and chest a little more. Right arm opens up towards the sky. Then thread right palm underneath, left, right ear to the ground. Press, reach left fingertips, prong them towards the top of your mat. Tug your shoulder back. Then just create a gentle friction to where it feels 
really good in that sweet spot of your left and your right shoulder, tricep. Mm. Left palm back in front of your face, re-extend your right arm, and then release right palm underneath your face. Left arm opens up, and thread left arm under, left cheek down from right fingertips in front, and gently tug right shoulder back, and feel that gentle release or that play of your weight, that shifting of your weight to inviting that great pressure, that perfect pressure. And right palm back underneath in front of face, re-extend and release. This time we'll extend your palms forward for puppy pose, so your hips stay stacked over your knees. Heart starts to dip towards the floor. Four chin can either rest a little deeper. Forehead first. But you can press pressure into your palms so that you're suctioning the shoulders and the armpits back. Navel pulls in, chin or chest can eventually rest, deepening the chest, the heart opener. And then slowly rise back up to your tabletop. We'll widen your knees. This time, press your hips back to child's pose. Palms can either extend forward or back toward your toes if that's feeling too extreme for your shoulders. You can either take a really relaxed child's pose or prong the fingers, suction the armpits back. One more breath. And then rise back up, tabletop, this time for dolphins. So the forearms come down, and the shoulders stack right over the wrists. Thought palms can come forward or face forward, fingertips forward. Push into the shoulders, push out from the shoulders, and then lift the hips. So it's like downward dog, but you're on your forearms. The heels can lift, and the knees can bend. Try to accentuate the length through your spine. Gaze either between the heels, the thighs, but then invite the heart back again. A couple more breaths. Really strengthening your shoulders, navel pulls in. Option to lower to knees and then rise up to downward dog. Or gaze forward, widen your palms, shoulder width distance, push up to downward dog. Couple breaths. Inhale, reach right leg up to the sky and step through to a bit of a wider stance. Back heel anchors flat. Toes spin and quarter turn, rise up to warrior one. So your shoulders and hips spread forward, you're encouraging your back thigh to spiral in, even lean your torso forward a little bit. Now thumbs come in and heat out. Lengthen chest, heart opens, and like that seaweed or seagrass, exhale, swim arms back. Inhale, arms up, heart opens, exhale. Last one. Inhale, rise up, and swim your arms back behind. This time, interlace your fingers back behind you. Lengthen, reach heart up, knuckles float toward your heel. Humble warrior torso drapes on your thigh, or start to interlace or nudge right ribs toward right inner thigh. Head hangs heavy. Leave of the crown, slowly rise, come back up, arms up. Straight out your plant leg. Walk your back foot forward a couple inches. Lengthen in chest, heart up. Hinge forward, hinge forward. And without doming to your spine, try to create this flat, straight spine from the crown of your head or fingertips down through your tailbone. And then release palms, frame your front foot, curl your chin in. Whether you rest forehead to the shin, the knee, or curl your chin up toward your throat, massaging throat, thyroid. Soften your shoulders, kind of shrug your shoulders up and down a couple times. And then walk your fingers either back towards like the midline or underneath your hips. But without shrugging the shoulders too much, just let your arms actively hang heavy.
Now half lift in your heart. <clears throat> right palm to right hip, and you can get your block with you and either place it underneath your shoulder, have a pinky toe, but tuck through the left ribs, start to open, reach right arm towards the sky. Revolve pyramid. So you're opening through your chest, your heart. Continue to breathe, rinsing through your spine. And a little bit of a different, different transition. We'll take your block with you, but you'll lead with your bottom pinky fingers, grounding like a wave. Left arm opens up. We'll spin, pivot to face the side, to face forward. So this time we'll draw your heels in and your toes out. So you might have your block in your hand. Bend into your elbows. You can place your block down. And then palms to your thighs. You dip one shoulder in and then the other. So you're in horse, heels and toes out. Bend into your elbows. Lift up through your chest, your heart. Open your mouth and your tongue. Stick it out. Inhale, rise. Straighten your arms and your legs. And then exhale, back down again. Inhale, rise up. And exhale. Inhale, arms up. Bend your elbows. Reach your palms to your thighs, your knees. <clears throat> then up to you. You can choose any of these variations. You can dip a shoulder in, massaging your spine again. You can lift your heart. You can dome your fingertips, flaring your elbows, elevating your heels like you're hugging a tree. Really breathing underneath your collarbones, flaring the elbows, and kind of like you have little balloons underneath your armpits. Couple more breaths. Through your heels, inhale, arms up and over, and then palms to heart. Sink your hips down nice and low. If you have your block, great. Turn it nice and tall. So you can come all the way down, sitting on your block, or just make your way to your block. Now walk your feet forward so that they're in front of your knees, and the knees can reach out nice and wide. Now hinge your torso forward, press your elbows into your knees, roll the, uh, the inner arches up, tuck your chin so the back of your neck is long. You can take a mudra, either thumb, index, middle finger, but breathe through your hips, your groins. This is great to release any tight groins if you've been sitting, walking, running, One more breath. And then slowly release. All right, so we'll go ahead and walk your feet so that they're about hips, a little wider than hips with distance. We'll stand up nice and tall. You can move your block to the back of your mat, palms to hips, knees bend, lead with your heart and rise. Come all the way up. Stretch, reach your arms up and over, and palms to heart. Ground into your left tree pose, right foot to the ankle, the shin above or below your knee. So just avoid your knee joint. Hip bones point forward, it doesn't matter how wide your knee gets, palms come to heart. Without locking out your standing leg, think of those nice, long, kind of stretched out S curve. If there's a little micro bend in the knee, there's connection to your back glutes. Palms can stay at heart, you can grow your tree nice and tall. You can bend your elbows, taking a heart opener. Perhaps interlace your fingers back behind you, stretching your knuckles toward your heel. Back glute stays powered on. You tend to kind of relax it and let it just, uh, let the bone structure just stack so that you're engaged, you're lifted. Arm variation slowly, release palms, come back to heart. Hike your knee up, hip height, flex through your floating foot, rotate your ankle one direction and the other. Hook, cross, ankle up and over your left thigh, figure four. Sink your hips low, energize your right knee downward toward the floor, palms can stay at heart, or you can rest elbows to the inner arch, the knee. You can choose palms to the ankle, but breathe through your glutes. And then slowly rise, come back up, single leg to Dasana. And then slowly release, relax. Rotate your ankle one direction. The other, other side, ground into your right. 
cheekbones, left foot to the ankle, the shin, or again above the knee. The right knee can micro bend or soften again. Where the glute muscles engage, lifting through your chest, your heart, palms can stay at hearts. You can grow your tree, perhaps take a different variation, bending the elbows, helping your heart, perhaps traveling the gaze up further. Again, the back glute stays powered on. There's a little micro bend in the knee. Stay lifted and tall, like a super strong, kind of stretched out shock. Arm variations, come back to heart. Hike your left knee up hip height. Flex through your floating foot, rotate left ankle one direction, the other, and then cross ankle over right side, bend into the knee. Figure four, breathe and energize left knee, left glutes downward to broaden the glutes, move your palms to heart or take that balance, wrapping around the ankle, the shin. Slowly rise, come back up, hike the knee up, and release toe, heel, arch. Relax, shake it out. Nice job, you guys. <laughs> All right, this time we will step, turn toward the back of your mat. Your block should be up there if you have your props. Ground your feet, inhale, stretch, reach arms up and over. Bend the elbows, open your heart and your mouth. <sighs> inhale, rise up. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift. And plant your palms, step to plank, hold your plank here. This time, left palm to the center of your mat, roll onto the bottom left knee and swing your toes toward the back, side plank variation, right arm up. Now, pin into the knife edge of your back foot, your pinky foe, pinky toe roots down. This way you can open across, you can kind of tilt your pelvis to open across the top right hip and the psoas. Now engage through your core and elevate your right heel up and off. Yeah, now bend the knee. You can draw the knee in toward your chest, shoulder. It feels a little crunchy, like a cat pose in your spine. Now start to open up through your chest. Now you can cradle your head back if that feels better. Now travel the toes back and open up like you're reaching your toes toward the crown of your head. And then crunch it back in. Try to keep your knee in line in that same plane, crawling and crunching the knee. The elbow in doesn't need to touch, but it's just crawling and kind of creating that side bend and that little bit of cat pose, and then open and extend. This time, reach the right arm as you extend back. You either reach for the toes, the ankle, but kick back, reach back. Take your quad stretch, or that little bit of dancer's pose. Maybe a little bit of both. And then with control, with grace, we extend the arm and the leg, and release down, tabletop position. Cat pose, heart opens. Exhale, cat. Neutral spine, this time other side, right palm down, right knee under hip, swing the toes back, use it as a bit of a kickstand, and pin into the knife edge of your back pinky toe. Root your heel, the toe down, reach your left arm up. And then go ahead and elevate the heel, use your side obliques. Bend into the knee, you can cradle your palm into your head, this time, draw and trace the knee in, so it's gonna feel a little awkward, like you're reaching your elbow toward the knee, but it doesn't quite touch. And then you're tracing the knee back in line with that same plane, opening through your heart. Same thing, reaching the knee in, that same plane, working kind of like your outer glute adductors, and then reaching the heart back, toes toward the crown of your head. Last one, crawl it, reach it in and extend it back. This time we extend the arm and reach for the toes, the ankle, taking that quad stretch, heel toward glute, or kick back like that dancer's pose. Again, using your bottom right foot as that kickstand for support. We extend with grace, arm and leg, and release, table top position. Cow pose, breathe in, and cat. Neutral spine, walk the knees back, shift your weight forward, heels lift, so different, a bit of a different chaturanga. This time your chest, chin lowers, so the hips lift, elbows point up like grasshopper wings. Now track your knees down, 
but reach them forward toward your elbows, pull your navel in. Now release your pelvis, hips down, gentle cobra, back of the neck long. Exhale, release your chin, curl the toes, push to plank or tabletop to plank. And exhale to downward facing dog. Deep breath in. Let it go. One more, breathe in. All right, inhale, reach left leg up to the sky. Step it through to that little bit of a wider stance, back heel anchors flat, toes bent and quarter turn, back to warrior one. So you're inviting your back thigh to internally rotate. You're feeling that little bit of leaning forward in your upper torso. The thumbs turn in, pinkies out, especially if you're feeling pressure in your low back. Now like that seaweed or sea glass, try to grasp, try to blend your poses with your breath. Inhale, heart opens. Exhale, swim back. Inhale. Last one. This time, interlace your fingers and opposite pinky finger interlace. Try to squeeze the heels of your palms. Lift up, heart opens. Knuckles track toward your back heel. Hinge forward to that warrior, humble warrior. You can pivot the back thigh to face forward. Feel the glutes engage. One more breath. Leading with your heart, slowly rise, arms up and over, straighten out your fence leg, back foot walks forward a couple inches. Again, shoulders, hips, square forward. Arms lengthen up and then hinge forward, so you're creating that tabletop spine first. If you notice any tucking or doming, then stop right about wherever you find that happen. It might be up here, it might be about hip height. Reaching that straight line from fingertips down to your tailbone. One more breath. Navel pulls in as you exhale, slowly release without collapsing with gravity. Frame your front foot, curl your chin toward your throat, massaging forehead, maybe drops toward the shin. And then again, let's actively root your fingertips down, track them down to kind of create that gentle, deeper twist, that gentle, deeper forward fold. Elbows pulling in towards one another. And then half lift in your heart. You can get your block handy. Get it underneath your shoulder. Out of the keto option. But push down to create that half lift. Now left palm to left hip. Tuck through the right ribs as you stack your shoulders. Your shoulders, chest should be pretty open as you extend reach left arm to the sky. Angle pulls in, gaze might reach up toward the fingertips. One more breath. And you'll take your block with you again. So that little bit of a different transition, leading with your bottom right pinky finger like that. We slowly rise. Feet again parallel to face forward. All right, now release your block either down under the center, but this time interlace your fingers either behind you or reach for opposite elbows or reverse namaskar. Toes point forward, lift up through your chest, heart, and then hinge forward. And if it feels good to place the crown of your head to the block, you might do so, you might widen your feet so much to feel that connection. Slowly release your arms down and then prong your fingertips out in front of you. Suction your armpits back. You might rest your forehead to the block, the floor. And then go ahead and walk either your block out to the side. But you walk your body forward so that you're in a wide plank pose. Your shoulders stack over your wrists. Now lower your knees to your mat, heels and toes out, and then invite your hips back. So you're in floor frog now. <clears throat> Deeper inner groin stretch. You can use your elbows to track your hips back. Good 
It should not feel painful, perhaps uncomfortable, but not, not painful at all. To come out of it, come forward, bring your palms down, curl the toes, push that wide plank pose, walk your palms back to the center, meeting your palms, hips to the center. Half lift in your heart. Micro bend in the knees, palms to hips, lead with heart and slowly rise, come all the way up. Draw and draw your heels closer together. You can hop your feet to touch and then turn to face forward. You can stay forward if you have room on, the, on your mat. So we'll move into dan dancer's pose, which is more of our peak posture. As we open up our chest, our hearts, stretch your arms up and over, place your left palm to face forward, right elbow into the right ribs. Ground into your left, kick your right foot up, squeeze your knees toward one another. Same here, or start to trace your toes directly back. Once you feel the knee tracing back, you can start to lean your torso forward, engaging through your glutes, lifting through your heart. This is a deep chest expansion. This kicks up your stamina, heart rate. You can always deeply bend in your standing legs, especially if it's feeling tight in your hamstrings or your low back or glutes. One more deep breath. Slowly rise, swing your knee up and through, single leg to dasana. Open twist to the right. Left palm can wrap around the outer knee. You can face finger the big toe or the knife edge of your foot as you extend the heel. Opening through your chest. Come back through center, frame your face, and release. Other side, you can shake it out as you need to. Nice job, you guys. Right foot grounds, arms up, right palm forward, left elbow into your side. Kick back, squeeze the knees in. Again, the armpit rolls back, eye of your elbow points outward. Squeeze the knees in, you can stay here. Guide the knee back. Tracing the fingertips forward. Gently relaxing the knee and the hip downward so they're nice and level like your down plank pose. T on your sacrum. There's about 50% kicking back, 50% reaching forward. One more breath. Slowly rise, back to your single leg Tadasana. Try to reset in your foundation. Open twist to the left. A little last bit of balance. Right palm to the outer right knee. You can stay here. Opening through your chest, option to extend your heel, your leg. Most important is a lifted heart, so you can keep the floating knee bent. You want to avoid doming and rounding, but lifting through your chest and your heart. One more breath. Come back through center, frame your face, take a breath in, and release. Relax your shoulder, your, your toes, your legs, your shoulders. Roll them up toward your, toward your ears a couple times, softening your knees so we're kind of finding a little bit of flow. Bending the knees and breathing. And moving forward, like butterfly strokes, and we'll set the top of your mat. Final flow, inhale, arms up, bend your elbows, open your heart, and mouth. inhale, arms up, now interlace your fingers back behind you, squeeze the heels of your palms, lift up, lengthen up, knuckles toward heels, fold forward, hinge forward, come all the way down. Half lift in your heart. Exhale, release the palms. Now your heels lift, squat and curl into a tiny little ball. Don't round. Ground your palms, step to plank. And optional vinyasa or skip it. Up dog or cobra. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Take three deep breaths. One more deep breath in. And we'll start to slow it down, reaching right leg up to the sky. 
Right knee toward right wrist, back knee can lower. Flex into your right foot. You can keep your shoulders stacked over the hips. Making sure your back toes are strong and straight behind you. If you know it's best to wind a block or to um, lay on your back, do so. And then you can come on down to your elbows or your forearms. I like to come all the way down. You can flip your palms up towards the sky. You can't see me here, but palms facing up. Just stay open and receiving. We'll slowly rise back up to your palm. This time we'll roll onto your right hip so much that your left foot flexes towards the sky so both glutes root down. If you need to extend the bottom right leg out to for your knee, go ahead and do so. You can shake it out, releasing the glutes. Turn your torso toward your extended left leg. Reach, stretch your arms up and over and extend right palm to the outer pinky toe edge. Turn from your hip spine. And then release the left palm to the outer pinky toe edge. So I like to open up to the chest and the heart, reaching right arm up. And this time the right hip stays rooted down. Bend into your top elbow, lift from your side body or cradle your head. And we'll close the shoulder, dust the fingertips across and down onto the floor as you root right palm down, right knee down, reach left arm up. Little side bend, gentle heart opener. Curl the shoulder down, palm down. Tabletop position, facing forward. Cow pose, inhale, and cat. Neutral spine, curl the toes. Lift the hips, downward dog. Your left leg lifts. For half pigeon, knee towards the other uh, elbow or the wrist. Right toes ball strong behind you, look into your chest, your heart. Option to come on down or go to your back. Couple more breaths. And then slowly rise back up to your palms. So We'll go on to your left glutes. Again, right heel, right foot flexes towards the sky. If you need to for your back, bottom knee, shake it out. You can drop back in or keep it out as I need to. Extend the arms up, swing right palm back behind. Gentle twist. Right palm back, left palm to the outer pinky toe edge, the ankle, the outer shin. The final twist. Then just switch your arm, right palm to the extended leg. I like to use the my torso ribs to open reach, left arm towards the sky. You can bend into your top elbow, you can cradle your head back. And then close the shoulder forward. This arm you can bend as you dust the fingertips underneath the left shoulder, left palm, reach right around the final side bend, heart opener and release. Cow pose and cat. Neutral spine. Let's go ahead and find your plank. One last time, shift forward, chaturanga all the way down to your belly. So left arm now extends out laterally, gazing to the right, palm your right fingertips, roll into right to left hip, stack your right foot up and over. You can explore your twist, you can extend the right arm up, take your half bind. We extend the right arm. We'll switch it sides, switch sides, coming onto your belly. The right arm now extends laterally, gazing left, rolling into right hip, stepping left foot up and over, adjusting your shoulder as you need to. You can micro bend in the elbow, left arm can reach. You can take your half bind. Blending your twist, your final little bit of chest openers. 
and extending the arm, coming on down. Reach your palms, forehead rests on your palms. Widen your knees, flex your feet, and hook your ankles. Create a gentle tension as you flex your ankles. Knees stay rooted and your hips lift. You're releasing in your low back. We will pull in, soften your shoulders down. Relax your pelvis, open up your ankles. Flex, stretch, switch, flex your ankles. Hips lift, knees stay rooted. And relax, open your knees and just sway your heels from side to side. Relax your legs. Let's just go and roll onto your back. Get your block handy. All right. We'll just start to warm up into our bridge pose. So fingertips touch your heels, <clears throat> making sure that you have a nice, nice foundation. Toes pigeon toe in just a little bit. Heels out. Ground through your feet and peel your pelvis up and off. Shuffle your shoulders in a whole lot. Press into the back of your head. Allow the thighs to spiral in. Heels lift. Slowly release one vertebra at a time. Hug your knees in toward your chest. Tuck your back on your chin. Rotate the knees one direction and then the other. And a gentle, happy baby. So the feet stack over knees, anchor the tailbone down. You can rock from side to side. All right, ground your feet back again. This time, grab your block. We'll take a supported bridge pose. So you can slide, lift, ground through your pelvis, your feet, lift your pelvis, and slide your block either to the lowest section first, lowest height, either to your low back, your sacrum or perhaps the mid. If you've done this before, you're feeling pretty warmed up, you can lift the hips, turning the block to the tallest part and rest in your sacrum, your that triangular low back. Gaze stays fixed on that ceiling, rolling your shoulders back and just relaxing in your entire low back. Relaxing in your upper hips, your thighs. And then ground your feet, lift the hips, slide the block out from underneath and roll the hips all the way down, one vertebra at a time. Widen your feet to the wide edges of your mat. Knees drop or fall into touch. And then just feel your entire low back release. Tuck your chin. There is a little uh, ceiling of the pelvis, root it down, and then relax, tilt the pelvis forward again. Now rock your knees from side to side. Your arms can extend out like cactus arms. Let your knees drape over to the right side as you relax your right foot, right ankle on top of your left, gazing left. Tuck your tailbone under, awakening this quad and hip and groins again. Come back through center, ground your core, slowly release, knees over to your left, gazing right. Bottom left ankle can wrap over the right, using it as a little, using it as a little torque to tug on the right quad and hips. Gazing right. And finding connection to your breath, especially if you've lost it right now. Reconnect, reassess. And slowly release, drawing your knees, hips back to center. Hug your knees in toward your chest. Hug the knees, take those separate circles, just lubricating your hip joints one final time. Knees out and in. Like you're rowing a boat, opening the knees, switching directions. Give yourself now a final loving embrace, forehead to knees, take a breath in, and release. Relax to Shavasana. I invite you, if you'd like to take that heart opening pose, you can, just how we started class. 
with your blocks, blocks supporting behind your upper neck, behind the shoulder girdle, shoulder blades, making sure your neck is supported. You can also lay on a bolster, relaxing the arms, tucking your chin, and just finding that comfort again. Where everything is still and connected. Take as many cleansing breaths as you can to let go of breath control. And allowing every part of you to be still and heavy. invite you to connect with your heart again. Feel that connection to your unconditional love, connection to source of compassion and kindness. See that color green swirl around your heart center. With this green connection of heart, expand it from your heart to the hearts of others, especially to those who need it most. I invite you to stay here for as long as you can. Of course, this afternoon, please take as much time as you can, as you deserve. <laughs> I guess we all deserve long shavasana. But if you're ready to reawaken, wiggle your fingers and your toes. Rotate your wrists and ankles. Stretch your arms up and overhead. Lengthen your legs. Bend into your knees, roll either off of your bolster, your blocks, onto one side, come to that fetal position, and just touching the earth beside you and honoring our source of compassion and kindness. And to truly take this time to check in and to check in with others right now. As we're all moving through a, a collective experience and crisis and trauma and expansion and healing and through our differences but through our connections as well that makes us so equally unified I invite you to really take time to listen to observe slowly rise up to your seats you might sit on your bolster block, finding that really tall lift, it's fine. Stretch your arms up and over. Connect your palms to prayer, bowing toward your right heart in honor of compassion, kindness. Palms rise to third eye, honor of insight and wisdom. And we bow to the earth with love and light. I thank you guys so much. Namaste. Thank you guys for tuning in and flowing with me today. Um, drink lots of water, of course, always. Um, and be gentle with yourself if you need to re up on your oil, do so. Um, or Anything else that you know makes your body feel good, eating, eating well, all that good stuff. I will be back next week, so I hope to see you. Thanks again for tuning in. I also share classes um, live on my Instagram page to Wednesdays and Fridays at 3 o'clock. Just a 30-minute flow. Thanks again. Thanks, Jamie. See ya.